is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanson. It is that time of the week. You know what it is. Weekly Skittles. This is episode 2, season 2. If you guys don't know, I post the poll over on my community tab. So let's check it out and see what we're going to be 100%ing today. Of course, the title already speaks for itself, but we can always compare what the other percentages are for today's poll. I am recording this a little bit earlier than I usually should, but we are going to be 100%ing today. GT Possessed Trunks. 5,000 of you guys did vote. 55% people chose Possessed Trunks. I don't know why, but I guess we're going to be doing it. I guess that's the the, the soul of Weekly Skitters, just me 100%ing useless units. So by the time you're watching this video, I have the third poll for episode three out. So make sure you check out the community tab and make sure you vote on the unit you want to see 100%. Of course, each poll should be themed. So this theme was non-canon. And so every single unit here is technically non-canon. And so let's get into 100%ing Trunks and then we can get into his measly showcase, I guess. So here he is right now. Um, if you guys don't know what he does, his leader skill is tech type enemies attack minus 25%, extreme damage to the enemy, and then in types key plus three and defense plus 30%. His link skills are Thirst of Conquest, Coward, GT, Hatred, Saiyans, Loyalty, Royal Lineage, and Super Saiyan. Actually not too bad of a link set. And then we have Hybrid Saiyans as his only category, unfortunately. Um, he doesn't have like artificial life forms or anything like that that are related to baby. So let's give him like max dodge, honestly, because he's just a support unit. He's nothing really anything else. Um, and then I'll give him like crits just for the showcases. That's about it. I'm never going to use this guy. I think we should do... I know a lot of you guys asked me for a full baby or a Hatred of Saiyans team. So I think we should do a like go for today's video. I'm thinking about... Let's do... 400 likes on this video. If this video gets 400 likes, I will do a full Hatred of Saiyans theme team. How's that? Um, and we're gonna... I'll probably just be struggling throughout the whole video, but I think it will become a very interesting video. So if you want to see that in the future, make sure you like the video right now, as I 100% the trunks right here. So because he doesn't really have anything for his additional super attack, so he has no like lowering attack or defense, I probably won't give him any additionals. I'll just give him uh, crits and dodges, and I think the only time he would be really useful is if you are struggling on the extreme or super tech stage. You can use him as the leader, as a ghetto lower attack leader, and you can run double of him or um, was it, extreme uh, into Android 13, and you can get away with going through that super battle road by taking very little to no damage. I've seen people do it. But, you know, I've already beaten it already, so I'm not going to ever do that. I'm never doing that straight ever. Uh, let's do dodge there. 11 dodge and 14, 15 critical seems good to me. 99% of course. Boom. There we go. 3,000 to all stats. Let's 100% him. There we go. The satisfying sound right there. 10,224 HP, 10,446 attack, and 7,016 defense. Gonna build him quickly a team, and then we can get into the showcase as we always do. Okay, so I am back. Because of Trunks having only one category, which is Hybrid Saiyans, we're going to be running him on a Hybrid Saiyans category leader, which is Ultimate Gohan at the moment. It's only 130% attack boost, so it's not going to be the greatest attack showcase. Of course, he's just a support unit, only providing defense. But we are going to go up against Marseille, and we got a bunch of hybrid Saiyan support units and some link skills that we can activate, such as Thirst for Conquest. So let's get straight into it. It's not going to be too hard of an event, so of course he's going to be in the last spot, so that's great, as always. Uh, for the rotation, I'll probably have the Demon King Piccolo together with the Trunks because of... Um, because of the Thirst for Conquest Link skill, I don't. I think that's like the main attack. I mean, we can get Super Saiyan as well, which is why we have the Super Saiyan Gohan and the High School Gohan, which is um, going to be on the floater spot. And let's get straight into this. Hopefully, we can get as many super attacks as we can, and not to go through this event too quickly. All right? Yes, you seal. I know that much. Everybody has a guaranteed super attack here with just a bunch of supports. Does give us time to fix our rotations because we don't obviously want Super Battle Road Goku next to the Trunks as Super Battle Road Goku only provides super class allies. 
I'm gonna take a super attack against type disadvantage, which kind of sucks. 151,000, which is almost half our H, or is half our HP actually. That's pretty bad. And we can go like that. I think uh, B Pan should be able to heal us. So I'm going to risk it here. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. I mean, we could probably stun as well. This event, <laughs> it did hit pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Even for how old this event is. Okay, we did get the stun, so we're pretty much safe there. Alright, we finally have the Trunks in the rotation with type advantage. And, of course, the one and only time that he's here, we have to put him in the middle for now. He isn't going to tank the ends right there, but we want to make sure he gets a super attack. His stats are 47,000 attack and 33,000 defense. What were you really asking for, honestly? <laughs> Oh yeah, he's stunned, so it didn't even matter to begin with. So, uh, Super Saiyan Ling, double support, actually really good here. 200,000 attack stat, that's incredible. Incredible. 200,000 attack damage. The high school Gohan did almost as much damage as the Trunks, actually. Let's go like that. Um, perfect. Oh, actually, I should have had B-Pen in the last spot. That way, you can use the active skill, but that's okay. We can fix that in the end. But at least we are now full HP, so it's not like we're going to be using any items. But here we go, on to the multiple fight stage. Got some good links here as well, awesome stuff. We're going to target Toa, she's the weakest out of everybody. Maybe we can stun. Been pretty lucky that we haven't been sealed with the trunk, so that's pretty good. I think we're good here. 300,000 HP should not get us killed. Yes, 38 damage. So we have Thirst for Conquest. I should have put him in the middle, but we're taking so many hits at the end there. So we're just going to have Thirst for Conquest for now. And the damage with a critical... 670,000 on an enemy with pretty much no defense. I that take that as a win. I mean, for what it is. This Gohan with the additional is going to take out Mira. Oh, and we're going to take another super attack. That's going to hurt. 100,000. All right, let's um, target the Marseille there. And again, I forgot to put B-Pan in the last spot. So we're just going to be sitting without using her active skill whatsoever. It's just, they keep attacking at the start. So it's like, makes sense to use my damage reduction. This Gohan doesn't have any dupes, so he's not going to steal the showcase anytime soon unless he gets a lucky 5 critical. Bruh. And as I say that... <laughs> he's still alive though. He is still alive. Okay. So we're just going to have Thirstful Conquest once again, and we're going to target Toa. Should be good. Alright, here we go. So not the best rotation. We get a dodge though, so that's a successful showcase. I really don't know what to talk about because, I mean, we're not expecting damage, so. It'd be pretty cool if we did not kill in this right now. Sweet. All right. So now we can check out B-Pan at the end, knowing that we're not going to take too much damage. Perfect. And we'll have Ultimate Gohan finish the phase off. And then on to the final phase. Pretty good so far. All right. Here we go. Uh, we have a double support. I'm actually going to use a Go Sasha so we can actually get both the attack links. So that's going to help a lot. So once we grab all the key, let's see what our attacks that equivalates to now. 67,000. I think it was before like 40,000. So great increase. Very good increase. And if we can grab um, and avoid... Uh, if we can get avoid the Doka mode next turn, then that'd be good. 224,000 damage. No critical, unfortunately. Hope we can get a critical. Alright, we are good here. Let's go like that. And, yeah, we'll go like that. 
All right, so we get, are going to get the token mode. If we can avoid a super attack, with the, oh, we even get Big Pan's active skill, which is awesome. Okay. That's that's really, really good. So it's probably going to be our best rotation. We have Thirst for Conquest, which is the highest attack stat. I mean, we could have gotten Super Saiyan if Big Pan was a Super Saiyan, but... Or if I had a Super Saiyan that had Thirst for Conquest. Is there even... Other than the trunks and the other possessed... Wow, we took a lot of damage there. Oh. I Luckily, I brought a sensor bean. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I was going to say, if he sealed us, that would have been really bad. Okay, we go like that. Let's use the active skill now. Let's grab all the purple orbs. And let's grab that. So, perfect. 82,000 attack stat. Just an extra little bit more than what he had for his Super Saiyan Link activated as well. So, it's probably the best scenario right here. Let's get that whopping critical for a million damage. <laughs> Alright, time to be disappointed right here. Actually, not too bad. I was hoping for the critical. Plus 500,000 500, damage, I guess, for a support unit. You can't go too wrong. I mean, do you guys even use this card? Do you guys even use that card? Let me know in the comment section. When's the last time you've used that Trunks? Stunned, so we don't even have to use an item. And then, if we don't kill here, we'll be able to... Yeah, we shouldn't kill here. Yep. Unless this gets a critical. <sighs> well, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Again, make sure you check out the community tab for the poll to vote on the next weekly Skittles unit to showcase. Because we are trying to 100% every single free-to-play unit that I can at the moment. So, make sure you do so. And again, if you want to see the... Uh, Hatred of Saints free-to-play team be used on an event. Make sure you like the video. Of course, I'll do that at 400 likes. And as always, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Have a good rest of your day. Stay busy. Peace out.